everyone. Today is April 12th. It is actually Carly's birthday, so happy birthday, Carly. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you are having fun in Zion National Park. I will see you tomorrow. Today, I have to run a few errands. I have to return something to Ikea, but it's actually like 7.30 right now, so Ikea is not open. I've been waking up every day for the last four days in a row at 6 a.m. because I had to wake up at 6 a.m., but so now I'm in like this habit, so it is 7.30 right now, so I am actually going to go to Target and Walmart to get some groceries, and I might stop at Fresh Time just to get some fresher produce, and then I am going to go up to Ikea. I have to return something to Ikea, but they don't open until 10, and like I said, it's like 7.30 right now, so I'm gonna do all the other items first before I go to Ikea, and then I'm gonna come home and tackle my closet because it is a disaster. I pulled one thing out yesterday, and then I just kept pulling things out. I was like, oh, I'll just organize, and yeah, that turned into like a 17-hour project. So I have to get some bins to organize it a little bit better and just like declutter and minimal, minimize, minimize items around my apartment because I have a lot of things for one person. Why does one person need so much things? I don't, so I'm gonna do that today. But anyway, I don't know if I'll bring my camera or not, we'll see. I haven't really decided yet. So yeah, it looks like it is a beautiful spring day outside, but Haha, ha, jokes on all of us. It is going to be cloudy and rainy in about three hours, the weatherman said. So it looks really nice outside, but we all know Minnesota right now is not nice at all. So I am going to let you guys go, but I will see you in a little bit. Hey guys, I just got home from the grocery store. I went to Aldi and then Kowalski's. It's a Minnesota grocery store. It's more of a healthier grocery store. Their prices are super expensive, so I only go in there to get specialty items. So I will show you my grocery haul. I think all together between both stores, I spent like $40. That's pretty good for two weeks for me. That will last me up until um, about next week. I am going out of town next week, so I kind of uh, wanted things also to take away with me. I'm starting a new diet. It is the keto diet. There are no carbs, no bread, nothing. I did this diet about two, maybe three years ago, and I saw amazing results, and I just need to get back into my routine of working out every day, eating really healthy, eating no carbs, no bread, low carbs. I don't mean by saying no carbs low carbs, so I have really great recipes that I'll be sharing with you guys throughout this process of the keto diet. If you don't know what the keto diet is, you can just Google it, and it will kind of explain it further. I am actually sitting here right now eating an Egg McMuffin, but I took the bread off, and I'm just eating the egg and the sausage. So, without further ado, we're going to get into this grocery haul, and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm going to be eating for the next two weeks. I needed to get some stuff for salads and a couple recipes, so I got some mushrooms. These are just the sliced mushrooms. Got these from Aldi. This first portion right here is going to be the Aldi haul, just so you guys kind of are aware. The next thing I got are tomatoes. The next thing I bought was this giant thing of spring mix. I am going to force myself to eat as much salads as I can, uh, just because, you know, need to eat the greens. I got two cucumbers. We got three avocados. These are really hard, so hopefully they last. The last couple times I went to Aldi, the avocados, I brought them home and like within an hour they were like bad. So hopefully they are not this time. The next thing I got was a one pound bag of mild cheddar cheese. So nuts are really good on this diet. So I bought the uh, lightly salted pistachios and cashews lightly salted. I was my old ways and I was gonna get the honey roasted cashews, but you cannot eat that because that is like 15 grams of carbs and these are six, just plain. The cashews are nine grams of carbs. Uh, you can get them flavored, but that ups your intake of the carb count. Nuts are really good on this diet. I am allergic to tree nuts, so I can't have almonds, pecans, walnuts. Um, sometimes coconut makes me weird, I don't I don't know, but uh, so I can have peanuts, cashews, and pistachios, which are my favorite, so 
And the last thing I got at Aldi was heavy whipping cream. I need this for a recipe and I might share that with you in this vlog. Um, Eddie made it once, so I needed this for um, a recipe. So the next thing I'm going to show you is my Kowalski's haul. This is the Kowalski's bag. And the reason I went there was to get a rotisserie chicken. I heard through the grapevine that these chickens from Kowalski are the best chickens ever. So I don't know, we'll see. It was a little bit expensive for my roast rotisserie chicken taste. It was $8 versus four from Costco, but somebody said that they're even better than the Costco ones. So I don't know, it, and it even says the best bird in town. So we'll see. I'm just gonna shred that up and put it on top of a sweet potato with buffalo sauce. I love eating it that way. I also like putting the chicken on a salad things like that. I bought two uh, black cherry ice. I have not seen the sparkling ice black cherry in a really long time, so I bought two of them because they were two for a dollar or 10 for five dollars or something like that. I, I don't know, but I just bought two because I didn't need 10. I bought some hummus to dip my cucumbers in. Next thing I bought was cream cheese because I needed this for my recipe, so that's just that goes with the heavy whipping cream and ground beef because that also goes with the recipe. So I spent, well at Kowalski's I spent $19. At Aldi I spent 21. So just about um, $40. So that is my grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to now clean out my closet.
Good morning, everyone. It is Friday the 13th. Oh God, it is Friday the 13th. Um, uh, it is like 9.45 right now. I have my spy house, spy girl going on and my floral hat, even though it's really, really crappy out and we're supposed to get a huge blizzard and rainstorm and like all this stuff going on right now. And I said I wasn't going to flip out if we got one more snow. I'm not going to just yet because I am gonna be out of town this weekend on a trip, so we'll see how it goes. Currently in the parking lot to get my nails done at Serenity Nails in St. Paul. This is like the place that I go to if I'm in Minnesota, but at home I usually go to the other place in Omaha. So that's that. But I just wanted to say hello and good morning to you all and I hope you are having a great Friday the 13th. Hey guys, I'm watching Richard's vlog right now. You should follow him. He's going through his merce. Uh, I just made a salad, so I'll show you that. This is my salad. I put Parmesan cheese on top of it. But there is greens, tomatoes, cucumbers, blueberries, and rotisserie chicken. And the olive garden Italian dressing. And that's it, and Parmesan cheese. So I haven't even made like a dent in the spring mix yet, but that's okay. I'm just gonna eat this salad for lunch. It is currently, actually I don't know what time it is, like one or something. I'm making an egg bake, so I'll show you that when it comes out of the oven and I will leave the recipe in the directions down below. Um, <clears throat> it's really, really good. Excuse me, it's really, really good. But I just, I was on FaceTime with Allie while I was making it, so I was talking to her and I wasn't gonna vlog it, but then I just didn't. I actually think I'm gonna end this vlog here pretty soon after I show you the egg bake. Uh, just so I can start a new vlog and keep this for like meal prepping. Well, not necessarily meal prepping, but like a grocery haul. And when I did my little cleaning yesterday for you guys. Do you guys like clean videos? I know that's like the huge trend right now and everyone is like hopping on that bandwagon and I kind of want to do it for you guys. I filmed like three of them and they just didn't turn out like the way I wanted them to. So if you guys would like to see like a cleaning vlog or organizing vlog let me know comment it down below or like this video and yeah so i'm gonna go but i'll show you in about five-ish minutes what the egg bake looks like all right so here is the egg bake just took it out of the oven it is a cheeseburger egg bake again i'll leave the directions and the recipe down below i will see you guys in the next vlog i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys later bye